Hello guys, uh, welcome to this video. I'll be looking at task 18O. The question says, open the file that you saved at the end of task 18H. Find Mr. Varela, Varela, a list of all the students that he teaches for maths. So the student had, the, the student that he teaches mathematics are the, the list that we want. Okay, so include in this extract his full name and teaching room right okay so let's uh, so we're going to use this student uh, table here of course the task 18h is a form which we got from a uh, student table here so we're going to use student table here now one thing that we need to see is uh, from uh, teachers table you will see that mr varela here teaches mathematics and then in room 54 right so, and if you click on the plus, by virtue of relationship between the student table and the teacher's table, you will see the list of students that he teaches, which those students, they also offer other subjects like English and science, right? Okay, so let's take note of that. And then let's also take note of the fact that uh, Mathematics has the S code, the staff code of AVA, okay? So we're going to use that uh, as a criteria when we are um, querying that table right so let's um create the query so let's go to query uh, wizard from first uh, simple query uh, wizard so we're going to from teacher's table here what we need is the first name of the teacher okay so make sure that from your table queries uh, option here you have a teacher's table and then of course what we need are the first name and the surname of the teacher and of, of course the room right uh, so you can do it in any other actually so the names the full names so first name and so on and then of course the rooms or the room right so what we want to do we want to get under extract from the student table all we need is the full name uh surname student surname and of course the maths so i'll be able to extract just for mathematics okay so we can nest that and then go nest. So I want to rename my my query, my query here to task 18. Sorry, what am I doing? I want to have task 18 O here. Is that O or zero? Yeah, task 18 O. It's even in capital letter. I don't want it in capital letter actually. Okay. Okay, so I can click on modify the query and then finish, right? Uh, before I do that, let me see the result I have here. So as you can see from the maths here, what we need is actually the maths code, which is the AVA, right? So we'll go back to our, our design view of the query. Um, so under the the maths, the maths uh, field, or and then in the criteria row, you want to have AVA there, which is the maths, the code for the S code, the staff code for mathematics, right? For Mr. Varela, as a matter of fact, okay? So Mr. Varela has that code, AVA, right? So I want to run that, and then that should give me everything of Mr. Varela. So all the students that he teaches, okay? So it will give me all the students that he teaches and the full name of the, of the, uh, let me see the question, the full, Okay, and his full name, right? Yeah, and his full name. So everything is here. So you, you should get about that to one record, right? Now, if you look at the question, you find out that this maths column uh, or the maths code is not really needed from the question because what we need is actually the full name of the teacher and then, of course, the room and then the full name of the students, right? Good. So let me just uh, make sure that my data, everything is showing here right so i don't need the maths uh, field so what you want to do you want to go back to design view you want to uncheck here so that this maths field will not show and this is exactly what we need in the query right okay so that's about it so let me just um save the changes and then close this and that is what is needed so 
thank you so much for watching and uh, just don't forget to subscribe and share the video and also like the video okay so if you have any question leave a comment down below i'll be glad to reach out all right thank you so much i'll see you in the next one bye